Okay, just before we move on to the last race of the week, we've just got a little outline of how you would uh, race run. Uh, we're looking for some new race runners. So as you can see, it's fairly straightforward. You collect your horses. You paste them in your documents folder over in your starters order six file. You then open up uh, your race kit, as you can see. As we wait for that to open. Nice picture Graham's got there. And you obviously create your own races. It's a much smaller version of the race kit of the original. You make sure the two uh, kit options are clicked. You choose your course. It's faking them. You're going to check whether it's a hurdle or a fences race. You'd look on Tom for this information. The ground going. What type of race it is. It's a 0 to 120 handicap. Then you go over to the distance. So the two mile six furlongs, age group's probably five year old and up. Then you have to put the prize money. As I said, you'll find all this information on Tom. So it's worth 20,000. And then you put in the title of the race and you'll start with this particularly national hunt. So you would start with NH Then you would put the week number, which is obviously week 10, the race number, race 35, and then the title of the race, which is obviously gonna be starters orders six chase, leg eight. As we wait for Graham to find him on the keyboard. Did the one finger type in there, I think, Graham. Um, and leg eight. So leg eight. And then you go over to select eligible runners down the bottom here. And just click. Obviously, save and view race. You would then start your recording, um, which is, uh, there's a couple of uh, easy options out there. I, I use OCB. And then obviously say back. And that will uh, give you the runners and riders. And you would have started your recording at this stage. It's fairly standard. So let's look at the runners or riders. I better read them. It's two miles six. It's an alt one twenty. Number one, it's Cry Right. Then King George, James Gray is three. Mary Mary is four. Super Bad is five. Sister Winning is six. Borough Hill Lad is seven. Eight Top Spec. Mind Guardian Angel is nine. Ten is Judas Priest. The stud has got him away. And uh, thank you for that public information. Whoa. That public information uh, notice we had there for race runners. It is fairly standard. It's a little bit uh, daunting at the first uh, week you do it but after that you pretty much get into the flow of things but anyway back to this race the last race of the day a lucky last we've got 17 jumps here at Fakenham over this two mile six furlongs to qualify for the starters order six chase final and week 13 and we're being led by Borough Hill Lad and top spec Alex Cherry looking to get a one two here takes them into the first everybody's over the second poor jump by Judas Priest Probably got uh, loud music banging in his ears. So it's still top spec and Borough Hill lad. And there are a couple of links ahead from Mary Mary and Cry Right. There's a gate to the third. Everybody's over it. One at the rear is King George. Already got himself a little bit uh, detached. And then we've got Sister winning just wider. And then Judas Priest in the purple silks against the fences super bad. On the outside of that is James Gray. Further away is my guardian angel. And as I said, King George at the rear. So they make the fourth, a small little ditch here at Fakenham. Oh, and we've lost one. My guardian angel was a faller there. There was a small little ditch. Jockey didn't uh, time it right. And he's a goner, so bad luck there for Sirius. As we see him coming towards us, they come downhill here towards the grandstand. We've still got a couple of miles left to travel. And they skip over the fifth and everybody's got over it. With all into the six, all oh, the leader there went through. Oh, and we've lost one. King George has gone, another faller. So we're two down. The one that went through that particularly badly was Borough Hill Lad that we saw from the distance, and he's left uh, top spec in the lead. Okay, riding on board the old jockey cam of James Gray for Del Hinton. Goy, and he's over the seventh. And the one that jumped in a little bit better on his outside is Cry Right for David Robertson. Back to the race in uh, full view with a mile and a half to go. We're going to approach the eighth of the 17. It's top spec from Borough Hill Lad. And Mary Mary, sister winning on the outside of that. And the inside is Judas Priest. And they're a length ahead of Superbad and Cry Right and James Gray. And they all get over the eighth. 
And it's still top spec that leads. Just by half now from Judas Priest has uh, got himself into a good position. From Burry Hill Lad. And Mary Marion super bad. That wide is sister winning. Let's hope uh, she can. She's going to go a little bit wide on the course here. And just being followed through by Cry Wright and James Gray at the rear. But up front is still top spec. Burry Hill Lad leading to the next. Followed by a wall of horses, just a length behind. And a small ditch. Everyone's over it. Sister Winning didn't take it well. That's a little bit of momentum. But it's Barry Hill Lad and Top Spec. That's going to lead them into the final circuit. Still got over a mile to travel, though. That's Top Spec and Barry Hill Lad from Mary Mary. And Carl Arroganti, uh, Stu Grey Silks with a red cap over the 11th. It jumped it well. So maybe a bit of luck. Over the 12th, oh, and a couple of poor jumps there, both by Superbad and Cry Right. Definitely uh, lost a little bit of impetus. But up front now, it's Mary Mary that's taken it up from Top Spec and Burry Hill Lad. Well, Jockey having a hold. We've got six and a half furlongs left to run. Still another four to jump. And they approach the 13th. It's a big plain one, but everybody's over it. There's only about six lengths between first and last. James Gray being pushed along at the rear now. Trying to get a closer order. But up front, top spec. Mary, Mary, Burrow Hill lad, these three. In between horses now is coming as cry right. Sister winning still going wide. Must have really tuck in a little bit there. And they're followed through by Judas Priest, Superbad, and James Gray, who's gone wide now for a run. They go over the 14th. Everybody's over it. And there's still nothing between the first uh, first few here. Mary Mary, but now being challenged by Super Bad with three and a half furlongs to go. They're going to the 15th. Super Bad took it really well. Jumped faster than Mary Mary, but Mary Mary's got a little bit better pace on the flat, so they take the final turn, the swing here, into the final two fences. It's Mary Mary and Super Bad. These are one and two. On the outside is Judas Priest in three. Cry Sister winning, running on well. Cry right. The three at the rear are James Gray, Top Spec and Barrett Hill. That won't be winning from there. They're over the 16th. Everybody makes it. It's Mary Mary that's pulling away now from Super bad, furlong and a half left to run so it's Mary Mary, super bad, super winning sister winning, Judas Priest and cry right, but it's Mary Mary that's still got half a length advantage here but super bad and sister winning are coming up to challenge here comes sister winning, he's been running right wide away, but it's super bad that's going to lead them into the last, gets over it it's super bad from cry right and Mary Mary but I think super bad's going to hang on to this super bad gets it from cry right in second Mary Mary was third and there's little Burrow Hill lad so, a win for Kevin Meenan, finishing the week. A couple of wins over at Cheltenham, as is David Robertson, who comes second in that with Cry Right. Third was Mary Mary for Carl Arroganti. Fourth was Judas Priest for Martin Needham. Fifth was Sister Winning for Doug Warren. And at the end of the race, you uh, would click off of it. This is just showing you how you finish up. Coming out, you uh, get those horses, because obviously those horses... Uh, race form has changed. You put it back into the folder for your, your race. You'll pick up the... The text file, you'll go over to uh, Dropbox, and as you can see, Graham uses Bandicam. He'll rename that race to the name of the race, as you can see. Oh, he's got it open somewhere else, so he can't do it. But uh, you would then just rewrite the name of the file, and you pop all the stuff back in Dropbox. So volunteers required, let's have some more race runners, please.